My name is Jason Tranter, the Founder and Managing Director of Mobius Institute and this year in the Dubai conference I'll be delivering a half day workshop entitled An Animated Introduction to Fluid Film Bearing Vibration Analysis. So what will I be talking about? I will start discussing the measurements themselves just to really clarify how proximity probes work how the key phaser works, how it's installed and so on. Um, and we'll look at phase and a little bit of heavy spot and high spot, although we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, then we'll talk about the analysis tools. So really clarify what is the orbit plot and what does it tell you? The center line plots, full spectrum plot, Bode plot and polar plot. Um, so we'll go through all of those and using some case studies and so on and really make sure it's crystal clear what those plots are, what they tell you, why you'd want to use one over another and, and so on. We'll talk about the bearings themselves and what the difference is in the different uh, types of designs and a little bit about rotodynamics. It really helps to understand rotodynamics if you're going to understand what these plots are about, understand the phase readings, understand balancing and understand the fault conditions. Because we will also talk about the fault conditions, unbalanced, preload, looseness, misalignment, rubs, oil whirl and, and oil whip. Now, if you've ever been to one of my workshops or listened to a webinar or something like that, you'll know that we have lots of animations and simulations that make all of this much easier to understand. You may look at those lists of topics and think, oh gosh, you'd need all week to to uh, cover them. Now we do have courses that do take all week that you know get into a lot of depth but the fact is with these sorts of animations and simulators um, we can cover quite a lot in a short time to give you a really good idea of what it's all about. In a half day workshop we're not trying to turn you into an expert but boy you'll learn a lot. It's information you can take away with you uh, if you work in that in that field. You know we'll talk about how orbit plots are developed both in terms of the measurements themselves and you know how, how that works and the probe orientation and, and these sorts of things but also you know what does the information actually tell you about the machine which you'll see in just a minute here in one of our many many animations I've only just shown a few of the animations here uh, we'll talk about rotodynamics as well and the, the bending modes and the um, various modes anyway. Uh, we'll talk about the orbit plots. We've got so many simulators you'll see, you'll see a whole lot but in case you're wondering what a simulator actually is, they're just interactive graphics and I can you know, choose options to slow it down, turn on, it's a bit hard with this touchscreen TV, Let's see if I can get that to work, there you go, turn on the proximity probe, turn on the key phaser, and I can turn the knobs to change the shape of the orbit. I can do lots of things anyway to explain what's happening with orbit plots and all of the uh, measurements that involve proximity probes. You know, what the time waveform looks like, what happens if the probes are in different locations or the um, key phase are in different locations. We can talk about uh, orbit data, waveform data, the full spectrum, the response plots you name it, we can explain it and illustrate it with these really useful simulators. Um, here's a centerline plot, so if you wonder what a centerline plot is, you know we start with the orbit, you think about what the orbit really means, but then what does that actually mean in terms of the bearing? Well there's the shaft moving like that, um, and there is if you like the journal within the bearing, and the bearing has certain clearance which are indicated there and what that means is that I can't move that uh, the journal outside of that clearance and that's what the plot tells you about. Anyway, I'm not sure how much you could see through the movie but that's the sort of thing we'll be doing in the class to make all of this stuff more interesting um, but more educational so that you remember it and understand it. Um, oh, we've also got these plots to talk about mode shape so if there's light stiffness in the bearing versus heavy stiffness in the bearing, you know, how does the, how does the mode shape change? Anyway, all these things are there to make it more interesting and, and more understandable. And it's worth saying that in October we will be running a Category 4 course in Dubai. Now there's a lot of distance learning that goes on beforehand, so it's not something you want to wait till the last minute to register for sure. 
but this workshop will both give you an indication of what the training style is like, but also give you a feeling for whether you're ready for such a course. Anyway, it's a, it would be a fantastic course, lots of movies online that you get to see at your leisure and you can see them over and over again. And then of course you can um, uh, go to the course and we do a refresher on everything. Anyway, that's what I'll be teaching at the Dubai conference and maybe at the other conferences we haven't decided yet, but I really hope to see you at one of the conferences in Dubai, Antwerp in Belgium, Surface Paradise in Australia, or Orlando in the United States. I hope to see you there.